Hi everyone, it's Figma time again. Today I'll be unboxing Saber Altar from Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Field. Just so happened that I watched this movie yesterday and it's really really an awesome animation. Her spirit origin actually came from the King of Night, King Arthur himself, but the gender bender version into female, which then she is renamed to Artoria or Altria or just simply Saber. The Altar actually means the inverse or a darker version of her original form. Now, this is version 2.0, an improved version from previous Saber Altar, which I will briefly touch through later on. Here is the main figure itself. I really love how she is being designed, as well as the colour. Bring the darkest version of the King of Night. Now I will show you a quick round of her, donned in her evil armour. You can actually feel the dark atmosphere around her. So, we'll start from the head again. She doesn't have any long hairpiece, which allows her head to be turned all around. You also notice this infectious stain on both sides of her cheeks. It's like an evil root corrupting her entirely. Now, the main difference in this version, than the previous version, is her shoulder and arm parts. The initial release was back in the year 2010. As you can see here, the shoulder of this version is designed such that it allows tilting them outwards slightly, for better possibility. This is a really good improvement. Turning around the shoulder and holding her sword this way, without looking outwardly. Another improvement is her arm design. The 2010 version made her arm looks very much bigger. Feels a bit out of proportion, as you can see from here. Another thing I like is her armor design. It really brings out the evil aura. Like what you notice, all these red lines here resembles the curse flowing all around her armour, even on her gauntlet at the back. As like what everyone would have imagined, evil form always comes with this spiky thingy, where you can also see from her gauntlet, that like she can use it as a secondary weapon, as well as her leg here spiky heels with curse streak. Then, onto a torso, which can turn 360. It uses ball joint inside, which gives the flexibility. Able to bend over like this. Now, onto her lower armor and dress. The dress part in front is a soft plastic, a very flexible part as you can see here. The side armor dress is a hard plastic, connected with ball joints. You can turn the back part here up until here. But the sideway movement is a bit limiting, can only flex up this much which I think this is the only less flexible part of this figure. Other than this, her other parts are very flexible. Like you can see here for her arm, her elbow, and her fist. The last part will be her legs. Even though she has this bulky looking armor dress, because of the design of soft plastic, and the segmented with the side dress part, she can actually pose a frontal kick like this. Now, onto her backward movement, it is slightly blocked by the back portion of her dress, but the leg itself is very flexible. Last here will be her spiky heels. You can't bend too much here, but it can be turned all around like this. 
And this toe section here, you can't bend any way due to her design, as you can see here. So yup, that's about the main figure itself. We now move on to her face expression, as well as her other accessories. This is her standard faceplate. And this is her shouting face. And this last one here is her sideway looking face with a smile. This is a fluttering hairpiece, slightly different from her original frontal hairpiece, as you can see here. It feels like the slight movement of her hair when there's a wind force and when she activates her noble phantasm. And this is the last hairpiece, with the face armor blocking half of her face, adding this mysterious evil look on her. These are her additional hand parts. The first set here shows her hand opens up. The second set here is her sword gripping hand. And the last set here shows like she's having the force able to crush anyone. Finally, here is her sword, Excalibur Morgan the dark version of the legendary Excalibur itself. You can see the design of it here, with these curved straight lines over the sword. Alright everyone, here is the end of Saber Outer 2.0 unboxing video. Do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more figure unboxing. See you next time, bye!